Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back to Mastercam Mil 3D Tutorials and Toolpaths. Mastercam, this is our Mil 3D 6th tutorial and in this tutorial we discuss about how we can create that one part model and how we can create that one roughing operation and after that how we can create that one finishing operation. So in this video we will create that one video in three different parts. In the first part we show you that how we can create that one model by the help of drawing and in the second video we discuss about how we can create the roughing tool path roughing and the rest roughing tool path and in the third one video we discuss about how we can create the finishing part finishing tool path here we have two methods for creating that one part the number one method it we, we can directly import that one model in a master game and second one is we can create the drawing model by the help of drawing so let me show you the drawing for that one part so this is the drawing for that one part here all the dimensions are visible as you can see here here all the dimensions are visible so that one is a top view 2d drawing so you can easily create that one drawing by the help of all these dimension so let me show you once i will import first the drawing and after that i will create a 3d model and after that i will go for a create a 3d tool path so in this video you will understand about how we can create that one solid model by the help of that drawing. So for creating that one solid model I just go for here and this is the drawing for that one part and I just go at here and drag here. So as you can see here this is the drawing for my part. So let me show you that how we can create that one solid model for that one part. So for creating a solid model I have to go for some tricks that I have to use. So first for creating a solid model for that part, what I have to do, I have to go in a wireframe, select a line from here to continuously and now modify length just like that line and I have to continuously make a straight line. Then I have to go in divide, delete both of these lines, break that one line and that one line and all these lines break as we can now the what is the next step i have to follow i have to make sure i have to extrude that one part so for extruding that one part i have to go in a solid and extrude so as you can see here i just have to select that one area and now press ok and i just extrude that part and what is the total length is i just make it is total is 100 mm so now what is the next step i have to do i have to make a revolve at that one portion and i have to remove the portion like as my drawing so for that one i have to go in a revolve select this line and now press ok and select the center line and now what i have to do i have to cut that one part so i just click on it, cut and press ok now the next step I have to do that is I have to extrude that one portion just that one portion that I have to extrude this is as per my drawing so for extruding that one part I have to go in extrude select red continuously blue and red continuously select ok so as you can see here now I just can make add balls so that time my entire surface is making in a single click so now what the next one step that I have to follow that I have to create that one portion that here is I have to also create a part like as a drawing as you can see here this is a, I, I just create that one whole portion and now I have to create that one also so what is I at here there is a one radius that is R 5.6 I have to select that one point arc end point and now what is the radius is of as per my drawing here and here as you can see here I just create that one and now just select that now press ok the next one step I have to do that one arc is as from my top board top part but I have to make that one is 90 degree to this so I have to go into transform dynamic select that entity ok and rotate just from here and rotate it at the angle is 90 degree and now press ok 
clear color and top view this is my front view so as you can see here my arc is creating in a proper way so now what is the next step i have to create my as per my arc i have to create a surface so for creating my surface i have to go in a sur surface sweep to rail method first that first is that the next select that one here to here second here to here okay so as you can see here as per my rails or as per my guiding rails or a guiding chain my automatic surface is automatically created now the next step that i have to follow that is extend what is the distance i have to extend it's a 2 mm here to here here to here now the next one step that i have to follow i have to cut that one part from that one solid part so for that one core part cutting that one part i have to go in a solid go to trim to seat and solid select my solid part and then select my seat so as you can see here that time automatically my solid part is cutting and only my seat part is still here then the next step that i have to go that is i have to create all these the portion the radius that surface fillet radius that is 5 mm surface fillet radius that is 2.5 mm and the surface fillet radius that is 3 mm and also here both flat face with 3 degree draft i have to create a draft here and i have to create the draft angle is here so let me show you that how i can create a draft angle at that one part portion so for that i have to select draft face which one face i have to draft first let me show it here select that one face okay which one face that is what is the angle it is 3 degree okay again i have to select both of these face according to that and now press okay i have when i just select top view so as you can see here my face is automatically drafted as per my given given angle and now the next one step i have to do i have to also create a solid part at that one portion so for that one i have to go in extrude so as you can see here i just create that one portion and now add boss so as you can see here my entire part is going to be extruded or key going to be become in a one part so let me show you that how i can create the fillet on all these the part area as per my drawing so for creating a fillet first at here i have to go in a constant fillet select that here to here and press okay now what is the radius value it is 5 mm and now press okay also i have a fillet at here select okay for that one fillet what is the value the fillet of that one value is 3 mm So now what I have to do, I have to input what is the radius value is 3 mm. Okay. So now the next one step I have to go is I have to create a also there is a one fillet at that one portion. So for creating a fillet that one portion, I again I have to go in constant fillet, constant fillet. Select that is okay. Now what is the value of that fillet? It is 2.5 mm. as per my drawing so let me show you this is the drawing here and this, that is the surface fillet that is r 2.5 mm so guys as you can see here my entire part is going to be become as per my drawing as per my model so my model is going to be become as per my drawing so now the next one step i have to go that i can machining that one part so thank you very much be connected and updated for the more videos i wish you understand all the details as i Try to explain. Thank you.